Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through the back end of Shopify on how to set up a drop down menu. So you've probably seen this before on a lot of other sites of having, you know, maybe a, a collection thing at the top and then you hover over it. And then whenever you hover over it, you see, you know, necklaces, earrings, bracelets. So that's going to be what I'm referring to as a drop down menu. And I'm going to show you how to set that up in Shopify. So it's a little bit different um, currently right now and not as intuitive. You have to make sure that some namings are correct uh, to get everything to line up. And now I have heard that Shopify is going to be doing some nested menus, uh, hopefully in 2017. So it's going to make the process a little bit more intuitive. So once they do, I'll record another tutorial and put the link in the description. However, for right now, these are the steps to do uh, to set this up on your store for a drop down menu. So let's go ahead and hop into the back end of your Shopify store and let's get started. Okay, so to set up our nested menus, we are going to go into the online store area. So it's under sales channels and we'll just hit online store. And then this will prop up a sub drop down menu and we're going to click on navigation. So first, let me show you the navigation that I already have set up here. So I have the main menu and the footer and we'll come in here. This is the front end of this test site. So you can see this is the main menu right now. So it's all just regular links. There's no drop down. However, whenever you click on shop, it'll take you just to see all of the products in general. And what I really want to do is to actually have a drop down menu that will show the different collections. So this way it makes it a better shopping experience, especially as you add more products. So to do this, let's hop back into the back end of Shopify and I'm going to open up the main menu. So I want the drop down to show up under shop. So I want them to hover over shop in the menu and it show up underneath. So I can see here in the main menu that I just named it shop and this is very important. So the way that Shopify connects it to link up to set up the drop down menu is based on the naming. So I'm seeing here that it's shop and we're just going to hit back to navigation and I'm going to add a new menu. I'm going to click here, add menu, and I'm going to name it the exact same as what it is that I want it to show up from. So shop right here. And this will automatically put this in for you. You can change this um, information. However, since we want it to connect, it's very important that this is the same as this. Now capitalization doesn't matter. So don't do, don't worry about changing anything with that. So now I'm going to go in and set up my menu. So I want this first link to link to a collection. So I'm going to select here from the drop down and set collection. And I'm going to choose my collection of cards. And I'm going to type in cards here. And I'm going to add one more because I have two collections. And choose collection again. And gift wrapped. And I'm going to come here and hit gift wrapped. So again, we've named this shop, so it's the exact same as what we want it to drop down from. So we're going to hit save menu and come up here and refresh it. And now you can see whenever you hover over it, there's a drop down menu just like we wanted it to be. And there's also this little arrow that's showing up, which is the default of the theme to show that there is a drop down menu available. So if you want it to be, let's say we wanted to do a drop down from about us now, we've got, um, you know, some quick links down here, but let's say we wanted to do another quick link thing to about us. So let's go back here and we'll do navigation and add menu. So this is different because it's two separate words. So once we type in what it is here, Shopify will automatically change the handle here to have this dash in between. So this is how it's going to be named in the previous Shopify menu for the main menu. So it's going to link up correctly. So from here we will choose, let's maybe do it search and we'll say search. And let's see if there's any pages available. Uh, just be about us. So we'll put this here. This is just an example. And let's throw the blog in there as well. So from here, I'll choose blog. And 
Okay, and we're going to hit Save Menu, and we're going to come back to the front end of our story to refresh it, and we'll also see that drop-down menu now about About Us. So the key thing to do in setting up the nested menus is to be careful of what you name things and to automatically just don't mess with the handle because that's Shopify's way of trying to help you sync it up. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and please subscribe for more weekly videos about how to grow your Shopify store and market your business.